On this hunt, we're in the deserts of southern Idaho with my son Jack, son-in-law Scott, and good buddy Daryl Ponch Nunez. We're sitting water holes for one of my favorite animals, the pronghorn antelope. This place holds a lot of antelope, so the plan is to be patient and hold out for one that gets you excited. Or at least hold out as long as you can before the heat and the annoying flies get the best of you. I've got a feeling this won't take long. I've hunted Idaho for over 30 years, pursuing wild game all over the state. This year I was fortunate enough to draw tags for three big game species, antelope, elk, and mule deer. These are my adventures and this is what I love to do. I'm John Tolbert and this is Idaho the Season. What is going on, people? Uh, welcome back. Starting another hunting season, another Idaho this season. I don't remember what number this is, five or six, I think. And as usual, we're starting it on the antelope. Uh, missing a few people this year, which is okay, but there'll still be five of us out there, so we'll have a good time. And uh, we're gonna go, so I'm actually heading out today. This is two days before the season starts. We're gonna go set up camp. Uh, we set lines 10 days before the season started, so those hopefully made it. There's been a lot of really bad weather uh, since I did that. So we'll see if they survived or not. But we got more lines, so if we gotta reset some, we can do that. Hopefully, no one's on the holes. We'll see how that's always uh, something you worry about. There's been more and more traffic out there the last few years, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so we decided to get this season started. I don't know, I haven't really talked to you guys. So we've had, uh, so we got all these antelope tags talking about uh, more hunts for the season. I drew a muzzle at rock tag, which I drew four years ago, I think. Same tag, uh, if I remember, I'll throw a link in the description of this video. You can go check that bowl. Shot a little 6.4 out of it last time. But had opportunity to some big ones, so. Uh, Maybe it was something to play out, but I'd be more happy to shoot a bull like that again. Then on the second channel, I don't know if everybody knows how uh, Idaho works, but any anybody that don't pick up their tags, uh, they go out for a second chance draw, they call it. And the hunt I drew from muzzleloader hunt I drew from deer last year had one tag left over it, and this guy got it. So I'm gonna be hunting mule deer again in November with the muzzleloader. I can't think of a better way to start this season, man. Three great tags in my pocket. None of them are known for trophy animals, uh, but they all, you know, have good representation of what I'm going to be hunting. So I'm rambling. Hopefully, you're not bored yet. Stick around. We will see you guys later. Bye. All right. Well, uh, that's camp. <laughs> Pretty basic. We'll uh, got actually another set of bunk bed cots for in there. And I'll put those up tomorrow so those guys won't be here until tomorrow. So anyway, uh, I think I'll get the buggy unloaded and go check blinds. We set blinds a few days ago. So we'll uh, see if they survive. It was pretty windy and cruddy weather. So I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> we got two days before the season starts. So anyway, let's go check out the blinds. All right, well, uh, water holes look good. Good sign. Doesn't look like they've been hit for a while. Uh, it's been rainy out here, but all the little draw looks like all the water, little puddles and stuff dried up. So, good sign. Anyway, uh, got a little di daylight to burn, so I think I'll be going for a little walk. I know that there are elk out here, so heck, who knows? Maybe we'll find a shed or two. So, anyway, if we do. I'll show it to you. See ya. Uh, good morning. So I got home after dark last night and finished setting up the 
camp. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I checked the last water hole, which is the last time I talked to you guys. I hadn't checked that one yet. And the blind's gone. The It's really weird because the uh, bag for it that was sitting inside it was still laying there. But the blind was gone. So we're going to go. I have another one set on there. So we're going to go do that real quick. I don't know if the wind got it or someone took it. It's weird if they took it, they didn't take the bags. I don't know. But it was dark. I couldn't look, couldn't see anything. So we're going to go back this morning and set another blind on that. So we'll check. I'll get with you when I get there. I'll check when I get there. I'm not going to use this part. <laughs> All right, we'll just got to the hole and pretty sure that <laughs> that's the blind laying way down there. So definitely the land ticket. So we'll get we'll get uh get it picked up and get reset up. And this is going to be a sweet hole. Can't wait. Broke any poles? I hear something rattling around. All right, I'll get it picked up and see what we can do. Oh boy! Well, <laughs> an old chucky deer antler. We're out looking. Uh, got. Let me spin this. Got a. Uh, whole day to burn got that blind set up and whatnot so i thought i'd come out and uh yeah look for sheds why not man huh? not what you're hoping for but <laughs> you get what you get right anyway maybe we'll still move across something cool well stumbled on another old chocker pretty cool two old chockers <laughs> Alright. Definitely a little a little newer. Got some cool character. A little bit better buck. That might be from this year, actually. I think so. I think that was a brown new year. Pretty cool little buck. Alright, well. Keep going. Well, I pick up just about everything, but uh, I think that one's going to live its days out up here. But that's cool. I think that's the fifth. Third, let's see, I got three. Third, fourth one I found. And as I'm standing here talking, I see another one laying right over here. Let's go check it out. Chucker. That one might. Yeah. I'll probably take it. Why not? Okay. That's five. Man, this is a hot little pocket for deer antlers. Here's a side by side set. Those are uh, looking like they're from this year as well, huh? Super cool. Those are from this year. Right on. So I should put these on my back, huh? Yeah, well maybe we'll stumble across a flipping elk out at some point, who knows? Yeah, I found a sweet soft spot for deer antlers, that's for sure. That's one from the size, but I'll take it. I think that's eight today. That's crazy. That's one from this year too. September. Maybe maybe a year old. I'm not sure. All right, keep going. Here's a booner. <laughs> I think most of that one looks like you can see where it all turned to dust. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. Cool. I 
counter. Nine, is that right? Well, if all you're gonna find is deer antlers, <laughs> it's a pretty good one to find. There we go. Look at that. Been there a minute. Dang, that's a nice one too. Huh. Dang nice, look at that. Sweet, that was a good buck at one time. Alright. I guess deer it is today. Good morning. Finally time to hunt. I'm excited. Uh, this hole I'm sitting on this year. There's piles of tracks around it, so that's a good thing. Uh, it rained earlier in the week. There were puddles out here, but it's been hotter than heck. The two days that I've been out here, most of those are all dried up, so that should be a non-factor. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, hopefully we get some action early. But who knows? Haven't hunted this hole in a long, long time, so I don't know what to expect. But we'll find out shortly. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. That was a fast start to the day. It was only uh, 7.40, I think, and that buck came in. Pretty pretty okay buck, but uh, I'm looking for something that's a little wild factor. I don't think he had that. So we're going to hold out, uh, see what else. It's day one, I didn't want to shoot the first animal that came into the park. So. But he showed some pretty cool red action when those does showed up too. That was awesome. And uh, later in hunt. He might get an arrow if he comes back, so we'll see. Hopefully something better comes on. Alright, well good morning. Um, day two. And uh, as you saw yesterday, the rest of the day was just a bust. Uh, lots of little dinky bucks and does and whatnot. But uh, we're going to hope for better today. I really hope I don't regret not shooting that first buck that came in. But what you do so stick around sounds like the boys um jack had a lot of action yesterday mostly all toes and dinks again like i had and then uh scotty didn't have much come into his hole so hopefully for better for those hoping for better for those guys they do so anyway it's early just just day break now and uh, we'll see how this goes stay tuned
been a few hours, but um, after that first buff that I see got chased off, but I see another buck. Well, I did. I seen him down. I just got an in-reach message from my son Jack and it uh, sounds like he got it done so uh, that's at least one down two more to go <laughs> three more Daryl's on his way out tonight actually so he'll hunt tomorrow but I'd like to get another one done today we'll see how it goes I've had nothing else coming except for those two first thing this morning um, in fact I was going to shoot that one I don't remember if I talked about this or not and he must have heard me pull my bow back as soon as I did he, as soon as I pulled my bow back he gone. <laughs> How it goes? He was a cool. He wasn't a monster or anything, but he was really cool. I like that character. So that's kind of what I like to look for. Something with character. But the later not, the less character they have to have. <laughs>
Well, good morning. <laughs> uh, day three. I'm gonna try it again. You saw last night, I completely shanked on that buck. But, uh, it's not gonna keep me from keep trying, right? <laughs> I have no idea what happened. But, anyway, whatever. Uh, a little different scenario today. I'm actually in a different blind. Daryl showed up last night, so we were. I was actually hunting out of his blind, so I let him hunt that hole, or he's gonna hunt that hole, and then I'm coming back to one of my old haunts and uh, hunt that. So it's been pretty active. Scott's been sitting the last couple of days, but nothing he wanted to shoot coming, but that could change today. Um, problems. So you can see in the background, it's freaking cloudy today. Uh, very light sprinkle right now. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this just passes by. I don't know. It's looking pretty bleak as you can see. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see how it goes. Keep our fingers crossed. One thing's for sure: I'm not gonna be very picky today. We have no idea what this weather's gonna do, so we might just get in and out. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Get back to you later, bye. All right, guys, we got day three. Yesterday we had a whole lot more action, just nothing of size. Today we might not be as picky. Woke up to a light rain, cloud coverage everywhere. So we're still hopeful, but we'll see how the day goes. See if we can't get it done. There's a big buck over there chasing does. I've been watching all day. I just heard these guys come stomping in from the backside. Oh. It's been a crazy few days, but we got it done. Got two more tags to fill, so see if John and Daryl get us lucky today. <laughs> Gosh dang it guys, I don't know what I did, but somehow the 
camera turned itself off. I only had like eight seconds of footage of these goats coming in. So there was a total of four in the little herd. Luckily, This guy followed him in. All right, well, Scotty, Scotty, done, I guess. So he's driving down here. I'm going to talk to him real quick, and then I might switch holes. I haven't had any action on this one yet at all. Um, we'll see what the scoop is here. So let's see what he's got going. Got it done already, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. No shit. Is it a good one? Yeah. Is it that biggest one I've seen? Is so it? Far. Sweet. Yeah. That's exciting. Have you seen any other ones? Uh, I think the one I actually shot was a second big one. So oh, really? Another big one pushing those around. I wonder. Way. I'm trying to decide if I want to switch holes or not. I haven't had anything in here yet. Yeah. How's it been a lot? I mean, like. I might, I might switch holes. Definitely sounded like a, with the noise he was making and the hit, I was quite sure it was a heart shot.
Eh, you went maybe 70 yards. Settle down. <laughs> He's just a nice, respectable buck. They got our shot. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> just gonna do a real quick recap because it was kind of fast and furious in the blind. Why? Because I was taking a nap. I woke up it rained this morning you know sprinkled on and off for a few hours I figured the Sun kind of came up John had some pretty good action here yesterday afternoon and uh, you know I just saw maybe this buck I don't know and another little little buck a couple other smaller bucks a couple does only one doe came in to drink and then this one did um, I only had today and tomorrow, half a day tomorrow. Got some uh, buddy of mine traveling through. Got to do podcast, and then uh, a couple days I got to go guide. So I knew I wasn't going to be too picky. And I know every year I talk about that how I, I do love the meat, and um, you know with the season being the way it is during elk season, I'm not going to be too picky. Most of the time it just ends up the way it ends up. But super stoked. I'm done. First day. Uh, just before noon. And I'll get to take care of them here. Go get them skinned out and everything. And roll on home. Alright, well good morning. It's been um, five days since we've talked. Pretty much everybody's done but me, so I made a bomber trip out uh, last night and got my blind set this morning. Same old head. I got a, the one I missed. I call them swoops just because his horns remind me of that. So, but I, anyway, uh, it's one day. That's all I got. It's in the season. So, either it's going to happen, or it is not going to happen. So, stick around and see what happens. I just see him a second time. I couldn't see him over the weeds. So, uh, I hit him okay. 
screwed them up pretty good. Cool. Okay. We're going to get some pictures and get out of here. Excellent. There's a new 